Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in. Men's and women's shoes, are you selling them? If not, watch this video and you see why you should be. Hey everyone, so this is going to be a quick little shoe haul, uh, just to show you if you're not selling men's and women's shoes to exactly as to why you should be. Uh, the ROI uh, can be quite a bit. Uh, it's quite common that we turn $10 into $100. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first up we have the Ariat Pink Fat Baby uh, Cowboy Western Women's Boots. Uh, we picked these up for $9 and we will sell these for approximately um, $85 to $90. Um, these will move quick. The uh, exact comp was $89, bucks, I do believe, for these. And once again we paid $9. Uh, next up we got the Merrill Puffin Boots. Uh, we paid $7.50 for these. And these will go for about 75 bucks and we're just going to go through these real quick um, just to give you an idea of what we sell and um, just a quick little picture of what they are. Alright so the next one here was a pretty good unbelievable find. We have some women's uh, Salvatore Ferragamo um, blue patent leather uh, pumps. We picked these up for they were seven dollars and fifty cents and these are going to we're going to be asking hundred bucks, uh, $99.88. Uh, just so you know, all of our stuff we always offer in the sense and we, we always do 0.88. Uh, that way when they are sorting, uh, we will rank cheaper than all the other ones that are doing 99 cents for the most part. All right, so next up, um, we have some Nike Flywire. We picked these ones up for $8 and we will sell these for $44.88, 45 bucks basically. And um, the, the comps are pretty good, uh, moving steadily on these ones as well. Uh, next up, we have some Columbia Women's Dream Makers, I do believe. Uh, these were, we paid a little more for these, uh, these were 10 bucks. Um, these will go for approximately 34, 35 bucks. Next up, we have these Converse uh, Double Full Gray Fluorescent Yellow. Uh, Converse do really well for us, uh, we sell them quite a bit. These ones were $6.50 and we'll sell these for $29.88 or $30. Uh, next up we got the Vans. Um, we actually got two pairs of Vans, uh, both same size, eight and a half. First ones here are the X-Men. Uh, we paid $7.50 for these. Uh, they're Marvel Comics and these will go for once again $29.88, $30. Uh, next up are the once again Vans. These are the tie-dye. Paid a little more for these ones. These were $10. Uh, these will go for same price, $29.88. Uh, vans are always good. We generally pick them up when we see them. Uh, again, they move pretty quick, especially this time of year. Uh, next up, we have some Floor Shine uh, black wingtip lace-up Oxford type shoes. Floor Shine generally does really good for us. Uh, not all Floor Shine, so you definitely have to look them up. Uh, there are some ones that are just pretty common and don't go for too much at all and not worth your time. Uh, these ones were $12.50, and again, these will go for $44.88 or $45. Bucks. Next up, we have Foot Joy uh, golf shoes, really good this time of year. Uh, golf is in uh, full swing, of course, and uh, these are $6.50. We'll sell these for $59.88, uh, $60. Bucks. Uh, really good condition, um, they should move pretty quick. Uh, we have next up we have some Cole Haan um, strap type slip on loafers. These were nine dollars and they will go for forty four dollars and eighty eight cents, forty five bucks. Cole Haan generally once again really good brand. These are the Nike Air ones. Um, they will move pretty good for us. And uh, next up we got some Dax. These are vintage Dax. We sold quite a few of these. Um, a few to Japan actually seem to be pretty popular out there. And these were $9 and we will sell them for $89.88. And finally, uh, this was the home run of the day. Uh, some Sorel Kate the Great Boots. Uh, we paid $10 and we will be asking a $179.88. Sorry, that was $179.88, so $188. Uh, not to say we'll get that, but uh, we generally do shoot on the higher end. Uh, we do, we're okay with waiting out, try and get a little more dollar out of our investment. Um, yeah, so 180 bucks, so $10 into 180. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, and this is pretty common with shoes. I wouldn't say that high all the time, but with shoes, your ROI is, is definitely higher than what you get on most of your, your accessories, like your jeans 
and your shirts and all that stuff as well. All right, so that's the uh, all the shoes there. So we have a total of $113 into them, and they will gross us approximately $853, $850. Um, now, of course, that's if we sell them at maximum price. Um, I don't expect them to go at uh, full asking for all of them. Um, so generally, even if we were to cut that in half, uh, $113 invested, we made $400. Bucks. Um, it's definitely um, worth your time and what you put into them. So we definitely recommend getting into shoes. With shoes, you always want to make sure that you take as many photos as possible to show the um, the wear and um, how they look and the feel. And well, I guess you're not going to get the feel, uh, but you want to give them a, a, a visual description of what they look and the quality and the condition. Um, and then, of course, um, keywords are very important. Uh, so going back to the first pair of uh, the uh, cowboy boots, the pink ones, um, keywords are very important to get you into that next tier of um, pricing and what you want to get for them. Um, so on those pink ones, you want to use words like um, ostrich skin. Um, obviously, you want to use the color western, cowboy boots, things like that, uh, just to make it clear on what the item is and uh, make it stand out and rank, rank higher in the, in the higher priced items. Uh, so keywords are very important. And once again, photos, I can't stress it enough, we generally do 12 photos with shoes as much as possible. Minimum we take with shoes um, is 10, and always we try and get uh, 12 at least. Uh, let me show you, I'll just grab a pair of shoes and I'll show you what, what photos we generally take. Um, so here are those pink ostrich ones again, and I'll just show you. Um, so first off, um, what we do is we generally get uh, the two of them together like this um, So we take both of them together then we get a side shot uh, Of each side and we actually do that for both pairs like that uh, then we get a toe shot We'll get a heel shot The soles of course and then you want to get a picture of the sizing in any tags um, as well. Uh, so that's about it. I uh, hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel, uh, feel, feel, feel free to uh, leave them below. We'll answer them as uh, quick as we can. Uh, again, thanks for stopping by. Take care, have a good one, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.